Acute respiratory infection is a significant global cause of infant and childhood morbidity and mortality with 50 million untreated cases. Also known as flu, it causes coughs and short, rapid breaths similar to COVID symptoms. It is a seasonal disease, particularly during raining seasons. Checks at some health centers within the capital revealed cases are more prevalent among children and the elderly. Medical practitioners at a rich hospital are however not ruling out COVID and chicken pox when cases are presented. Whichever we pick, we will not have missed the opportunity to give you the adequate treatment. Children and the aged are the most vulnerable around this time because they have a lower immunity threshold. So it is very important that once you are having those symptoms, you come to the hospital. If you have a headache, take just paracetamol. Don't abuse the other medications, especially for children. You are not supposed to give them the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It will cause different complications. Deputy Director of Public Health and Head of Disease Surveillance at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Dennis Laye disclosed that the service is monitoring the situation but cases remain below the monthly threshold of over 200,000 cases nationwide. We monitor for these and it's across all 16 regions. Uh, the only thing is that the organisms have changed. Um, the one that was leading, which is H1N1, we had that as an outbreak or a pandemic in 2009, 2010. Uh, but now it's changed to H3N2. So maybe there are what we call clusters. So it can happen maybe in one school, a number of people may fall ill, or in a certain workplace, one person may get it, and it would spread amongst that group. So within that small environment, yes, they would say that the numbers have gone up. He encouraged the public to observe cough ethics. When a person has a cough or a cold, I think as much as possible, they should stay away from others. It's important that you put on a mask so that when you cough, the droplets don't come out of your mouth and be transmitted to others. Um, staying away from work um, with permission is also something important. An epidemiologist, Professor Fred Binka, has been explaining the difference between the H3N2 influenza from H1N1. In the epidemiology, usually, it gets milder so that it can survive. It goes from person to person and then it feeds on our cells. Uh, that's how it, 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 it survives. When it improves transmission, it wants to be around. So it tries to improve the transmission and then it loses its power to be harsh or virulent on us. The H3N2 is less virulent than the H1N1. And this year, the reason why you are seeing this happening is that since somewhere in May, the weather has just been like this. And it's the cold weather. I have not been spared. Neither have some colleagues of mine. If you didn't know, now you know. It's the flu season and it's not a pleasant experience. So protect yourself and your family, especially children. Sarah Apenko, TV3 News, Accra.